I think a lot of people get into bodybuilding because they see the end result of what people's bodies look like on stage. But nobody sees everything that goes into it. They don't see the hours on the Stairmaster. They don't see the events that you have to miss, the relationships that suffer. All they see is the end product. And that's what this series is going to do, is give you guys an inside look in what bodybuilding actually is. We are going to do a full body update. This is going to be the first body update of my Road to Olympia series. Okay guys, so today is December 29th, 2021, and it is the first day of prep. So we're sitting at 163 pounds, 29.2% body fat, and our visceral fat level is eight. Guys, honestly, I am super proud of how my physique is looking right now because this time, last prep, I was about six to seven percent body fat higher and my weight was about 170 pounds. So I am just so proud that I have been able to keep a relatively comfortable physique so that I don't have to suffer so much this time when we're cutting. <laughs> We were at about 138 last prep stepping on stage. We want to hit anywhere, I would say anywhere between 132 and 135, maybe less if we can. Right now we're at about 158. Tomorrow I'll be able to see if I've dropped more weight since last week. what we hit this week. Well, we hit it last week, so Zach's thinking that if we don't change weight, since we didn't really change weight today, that we might change the program, because we've been running this same program, I think, for two weeks, so it's coming about time to change it again. And usually, like I told you guys, between seven and 14 days is when your body starts to respond, and it started to respond at about for me, it was probably about like 10 to 14 days. So it takes my body a while to respond to things. So we hit that new low, 155. So now we got to probably change it so that we can try and manipulate the body to hit another low. Cause your body doesn't want to get this lean. Like your body will reject it. And usually my body <laughs> rejects it the entire way through that's just how I am so we keep having to like do different things like we have to manipulate cardio we have to manipulate the food consumption so I'll tell Zach about that when we're done with cardio so he can try and make a new plan hi guys so I just finished my leg workout first one of the week and I feel like complete a booty this is the first time that I've actually felt like crap during my workout during prep so my head keeps doing this like pounding thing where if I go too heavy, I get like a really bad tension headache on this right side and it literally hurts so bad that it prevents me from going any heavier. I did PR on my sumo deadlifts today and then after that I was just like done for the workout. So sometimes this happens when like I'm, my neck is really tense, so I might need to go and get a massage to just focus on like my neck and shoulders because it like builds up and I can feel it from like the back of my neck going all the way to my temple and it just throbs and throbs and throbs. So yeah, I didn't really record it because I just literally felt like throwing up. You know, you just have such a bad headache you want to throw up. That was me today. We are in Ohio, because we are going to my first ever Arnold Expo. We're gonna watch the show, we're gonna walk around the Expo, and I'm here all by myself, and I love taking trips by myself, and no, I'm not a loser. If I got to meet you, I'll pop up some pictures of all of the people that I got to meet. You are so incredible. You make this job the easiest thing in the entire world. Like I love every single part of what I do and the fact that you guys 
are here along with the journey and you actually want to take pictures with me like that just blows my mind little Julia would have never thought that I would be here right now and I'm just incredibly grateful that anybody actually cares about what I have to say and I take this job very seriously because I know the impact that it can have on people and I just you guys make my day and I wouldn't be here without you. So there's a chance that I'm not going to be doing the show that I plan to do first. So that doesn't mean it's canceled. It just means that I might push it, but this is also a might. So if you were here for my Road to Pro series, you know that I did one national show and I got fifth, and then I did another one and I got first, and that's when I got my pro card. So that first show where I got fifth place, I wasn't ready, I wasn't lean enough, my body was already kind of giving out. And then that second show, I was a little bit more prepared, I was leaner, and then that's why I got my pro card at the second one. So what we're trying to avoid is that happening again, especially on the pro stage, I don't want to show up. And this is the conversation that Zach and I were having the other day, is like, I don't want to show up on stage looking anything but the absolute best that I can. If I'm not able to get leaner, than I was when I got my pro card for the show that we're prepping for now, then the best bet is to just push it to something further. It's really not that big of a deal because there's plenty of other shows like out there. There's shows from the May 7th until like right up until the Olympia, which is in December. We're still planning on doing that show, but there's a chance that I might not. And if that's the case, we'll probably do one that's a couple weeks afterwards, which is in Miami. There's another one that's like two weeks after that, which is in Puerto Rico. There's another one that's in Austin, Texas, that's more in like the June or July range. So just wanted to keep you guys updated and just be real with you that um, it's just as challenging to get my body down to that level of leanness. It's like, it's really hard. Now we're going to go over the results from the DEXA scan. I was really impressed with the DEXA scan and how it works and I'm definitely going to do this from now on because the problem that I come around when I'm doing the in-body scans is that the in-body scan counts my implants as body fat instead of implants. But with the DEXA scan, it counts it as bone. So it doesn't count it towards my body fat. So. With the DEXA scan, I was sitting at, after two meals, 150 pounds. Um, I have 27.5 pounds of fat and 117.4 pounds of lean mass. So, and it's really be really cool because you can actually see on the chart, if you can see it, look how funny mine looks. Like where you're holding the body fat, which is the blue. And 
This thing was super cool. So what we're gonna do is use this from now on and my body fat percentage was 18.2. It seems a lot more realistic and it gets me really excited because I can see a lot of change these past couple of check-ins. Like biggest change probably that I have seen this month out of all and it's just going to get even better from here. gonna lie this morning started off pretty rough um, I'm just gonna be completely honest I mean Zach and I have just been struggling a lot lately with our coach to significant other to client uh, balance and this is something that I talked about on a couple of videos ago but it's just it gets really hard when He's trying everything he possibly can, everything that usually would work for my body, that usually would work for his clients, and just my body just doesn't respond in the way that we think it would. So in the last video, you guys saw that my body did look significantly different, and it was like we had a really big change over this month, but at this point, things need to be changing every single week because we are six weeks out when I'm filming this and I think when you guys are seeing it it's gonna be about five weeks out so we're running out of time and I'm looking smaller and I'm looking more lean and veins are coming out and stuff like that but the scale is just showing something different so tomorrow is probably gonna be different I'm probably gonna lose weight but Zach and I are just I've, we've really decided that I need to start looking for another coach. So I'll go into that a little bit more later on why we decided that and if we're actually going to go through with it because there's a chance that I'm not going to be able to find a coach this close. So I have picked a new show date, but again, I don't know if that's going to be the final show date. It just depends on how my body loses weight this week and how it looks for the first check-in and the next week and then he'll be able to tell me if we're going to be ready in time for this next one so the one that we were going to do was miami we're not doing that one anymore um this gives us extra time to get with the new coach and like go over that transition period so i will let you know as soon as i can when the actual show is and where it's going to be and all of that stuff so yeah Okay guys, so we are at Powerhouse Gym in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Yin and I found this amazing gym and there's nobody up here. It's just on the roof. And it's a bunch of old equipment. So basically today's workout is just a really quick pump. So I'm gonna pump up like my shoulders, my back, my glutes, basically just everything, not too heavy weight, really just to get the, I guess, blood to the muscles and then that's really going to be it. For the show tomorrow i'm just excited like i wanted to be here already but then again i don't want to rush any of the process because i love the process so much but yeah i'm just excited i'm like i can't wait to go to bed so i could just wake up and do the show day because the show day is just it's so fun
37.4. I gained 0.4 pounds from this morning from eating one meal. Okay. It's game time. Let's roll. stage and it's looking like I got second call outs which is not top five so I'm not sure what I placed I was in the middle so maybe it's like sixth or seventh or eighth sixth or seventh or eighth but not top five so we still got to do another show um, just kind of trying to process right now I really didn't think that I was going to do that poorly but I just need to see what the feedback from the judges is and then continue to work on that from here. You know, we're still really new at doing this and we have a lot of stuff that I know that we need to work on. And I'm saying we because it's us. But I'm really, really excited that I did it. 